So we defined what it means for a sequence to converge. Uh, intuitively, we just mean that out at infinity, as you go farther and farther and farther out in that list of numbers, the list is approaching a particular value. So that was convergence. Divergence means you're not approaching any particular value. Now that can happen different ways, right? It could, something like sine just kind of oscillates back and forth. It doesn't really approach any particular value, but it doesn't shoot off to infinity or negative infinity. So if the limit doesn't exist, it diverges. But if it does a very specific type of diverging, we like to say that it's equal to infinity or equal to negative infinity. We saw this with functions, right? Um, if as you go farther and farther and farther out, the values just grow and grow and grow without bound. We're going to define that to mean that the limit, we're going to say that the limit equals infinity, but what we're really saying is that it diverges off to infinity. Likewise, if they get smaller and smaller and smaller without any lower bound, they just keep going down and down and down um, and keep getting as small as you like, then those things we're going to say are diverging to negative infinity. And here's the formal definitions. They look a lot like the ones you had for functions. Um, if you look at uh, the first one there is just saying to di what we mean by diverging off to positive infinity is pick a number as big as you like and my sequence will eventually be bigger than that. And that's the M, right? If, if there exists um, an N such that after that, all my terms are bigger than m, and you can keep picking bigger and bigger m's all day long, and I can keep getting larger than that. That's what we mean by diverging to infinity. Likewise, for the little m, if you can keep picking lower and lower and lower and lower values, and if I go out far enough, my sequence is lower than that, then we mean we're diverging to negative infinity. So I wanted to just do a proof of one. Let's, let's, um, let's prove that uh, the limit as n goes to infinity of n squared is infinity. Fairly intuitive, right? All this is is a list of squares. Uh, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, so on. Uh, clearly those numbers are just getting larger and larger and larger without bound. We know enough about numbers to see that intuitively. But let's prove it by the definition. So, uh, so we want to we want to figure out what uh, what the big N would need to be. If you gave me a big M, so we want. Um, we want to figure out when would uh, and when would our terms be bigger than that? Is there a point at which um, our n squareds will be bigger than n? So really, all I again, all I want to do is solve for n, right? Um, and it's kind of trivial uh, to think of negative m's. I'm going to think of m as positive. So when I take my square root. So for all n's bigger than square root of m, n squared will be bigger than m. So what we've done is we've shown that that is our big N. In other words, for all n bigger than square root of m, n squared is bigger than m. So that limits infinity. Because what we've shown is where how far out do you have to go? So if you pick a billion, all I have to do is go out to the square root of a billion in terms of terms, and all terms out past that will be bigger than your billion. Um, and you can keep picking larger and larger numbers, but I already know how far out I need to go for any number. Um, so we've shown that that limit is infinity. 
thing to keep in mind is some of our theorems later on talk about whether or not the limit exists. And when we say this, this does not mean the limit exists. This is a little deceptive because of that equal sign. What we're talking about is a specific type of diverging. That equals, you know, infinity isn't a number. And so when we say a limit equals infinity, we mean something very specific in terms of limits. We mean that that value is growing without bound. Um, that limit does not exist because it does not equal any particular number. It just grows and grows without bound. So when you get a limit of infinity or a negative infinity, you've shown the limit does not exist. Uh, we just use that symbol for those specific types of diverging.